Welcome to Word Practice 4. Start Word and display a new blank document. Make sure to display the formatting marks and rulers. Save the file as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore word, underscore practice, underscore four in your Word folder. Note on the Design tab, in the Document Formatting group, you will see Styles. Click the down arrow to view the default and No Paragraph Styles and examine the screen tips. Leave the default style set. Type the following, pressing Enter once after each line. Note, if the email address automatically converts to a hyperlink, remove it by right-clicking and selecting Remove Hyperlink. Select the name Matt Smith and change the font to 18 and apply bold. Select the second and third paragraphs that contain the address and contact information. Change the font to 12, apply bold, and align right. With the second and third paragraphs selected, change the line spacing options to single and check the box to do not add a space between paragraphs of the same style. Click in the first paragraph with the name and insert a solid two and a quarter point single line border below the paragraph. To launch the borders and shading dialog box, go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, click the arrow next to the Borders icon, and launch Borders and Shading at the bottom of the list. Using Document Info, add the file name to the footer. Move the insertion point to the blank line below the letterhead and press Enter three times. Ensure the alignment is set to left. Using the Insert Date and Time, insert the date using the third date format and press Enter four times. Insert Date and Time is located under the Insert tab, Text Group, Date and Time. Type the following address, pressing Enter after each line except the last line. Press Enter two times. Right-click on the word Borderlin and choose the first option to correct the word to Borderline. Select the entire inside address and change the spacing after for the inside address to zero and remove the space before and after the paragraph if necessary. Type Dear Mr. Shell and press enter two times. Type exactly as shown. Press enter two times. Using the text from file command, insert the text from the text word practice for file. Press enter one time and type. Press enter four times. Note, if you are going to print and deliver the resume and cover letter, you would want to type enclosure below your signature. Select the text beginning with the date and through the end of the document and change the spacing after to zero. Position the insertion point at the beginning of the document. On the Home tab, in the Editing group, choose Find. The navigation pane will open on the left-hand side. In the search document box, type background and hit enter. Notice how this word is now highlighted in your document and a preview displays below in results. Click the arrow next to the search document box and click replace. 
the Find and Replace dialog box will appear. In the Replace With box, type Experience. Replace the first instance. Then, close the dialog box. In the paragraph that begins, as shown on, select and drag the word Skills to the right of the word Unique. Use the drag and drop technique by selecting the text, holding down the mouse or cursor, and moving the text to the new location. Position the insertion point in the blank paragraph above the paragraph beginning with You Can Contact Me. On the Insert tab, Tables Group, insert a 2x3 table. In the first cell of the table, type Communication Skills. Press Tab and complete the table using the following information. Ensure the table is selected. Auto-fit the contents of the table on the Table Tools Layout tab. In the Cell Size group, choose Auto-fit Contents. On the Table Tools, Design tab, on the Table Styles group, apply the Grid Table 4 Accent 2 Table Style. Ensure the Header Row checkbox is not checked in the Table Styles Options section. Center the table between margins. On the Review tab, in the Proofing group, choose Spelling and Grammar. Beginning at the top of the document, perform a spelling and grammar check, correcting all errors. Ignore spelling errors related to names, and delete any repeated words. In the paragraph that begins, as shown on, use the thesaurus to change shown to presented. Select the word shown, right-click, and select synonyms. If the word presented does not display, launch the thesaurus for other options. Save your document and enter Backstage View. In Backstage View, show all properties and type cover letter in the keywords box your course name and section number in the subject box, and be sure your name is shown in the author box. View the print preview in Backstage View. Your document should fit onto one page. If not, make adjustments to ensure your cover letter is one page. Compare your document to this example. Submit the file for grading per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.